You're listening to an Airwave Media Podcast. Recorded in Chicago, Illinois, with your hosts, Ken, Matt, Neil, and Jeff, this is Triviality. Hello and welcome to Triviality, the game where lack of seriousness meets a little bit of knowledge. My name is Neil. I'm here with Jeff. And if you see the name of the episode, you know that this is Bloodsport Season 3. And this is the final episode of the semifinals to find out who will be in the final eight for Bloodsport Season 3. Jeff, how are you today? I'm doing quite well. What about you? I'm doing well. Uh, Today uh, was supposed to be the deciding game for the Australia-New Zealand uh, Section 2 uh, part of the world, uh, which is going to be uh, Frankie Mitchell versus Ryan Boyd. And uh, due to some uh, uh, extenuating circumstances, Ryan Boyd will be moving on to Bloodsport. So Ryan Boyd will be representing New Zealand in Bloodsport uh, in the final eight. And we just wanted to give a special um, shout out to Frankie and uh, let you know, Frankie, that you have an open invitation uh, to the semifinals of next year's blood sport, uh, a buy basically to get in the middle of the competition because we want you back. Uh, and we think you're amazing. So thank you to Frankie for competing, uh, all the way up into here and congratulations to Ryan. Uh, he performed valiantly. And I believe every time he performed, he was dressed in a suit, ready to go to work. I think it was about 6 AM or something like that. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> Neil, I will say, uh, he definitely uh, sorry, put in fine. the work. So he did put in the work. Uh, he had a briefcase full of trivia facts, just like our other competitors. Just like our other competitors. So uh, are you ready, Jeff, to hear who our final eight are going to be for Bloodsport Season 3? Can't wait. Representing Australia, Mara Legends. Representing New Zealand, Ryan Boyd. Representing the West Coast of the United States, Matt Takamoto. Representing the East Coast of the United States, Christopher Shen. Representing the South, Jeannie. Representing the Midwest and North, Jay Borsum. Representing the UK slash Europe, Willem van Vendeloo. And representing Canada, Stacy McPeak. Congratulations to all eight of you for making it to the final. We are super excited to see what country, what what region uh, reigns supreme, right, Jeff? Yes, very much so. And I'm I'm so grateful to see that we have representation from five different countries, which is totally awesome. Uh, just enough to have our own little uh, flag of five rings, right? We kept saying this is kind of like the Trivia Olympics, and uh, we can keep true to our word. That's a very good point. So those are your final eight competitors for an amazing season of Bloodsport that uh, we have cooked up. And we've only cooked it up because our head chef doesn't even need a rat on top of his head to have amazing recipes. Ryan Myers. Ryan, what are people in for for season three of Bloodsport? Well, that is a good question. Uh, We've got several rounds like usual, and I have kept some of the fan favorite formats um, based on positive reaction over the last few years. And as always, I have some different new styles to uh, move forward so this thing doesn't get too stale. Um, We're absolutely keeping, I think the fan favorite is always the speed round. And so you can expect that absolutely. Um, It's one of my favorites to write. It's, uh, It's fun and challenging to try to get questions into a really short sentence that still only has like one correct answer and at the very end of course we will keep the 20 questions format which is a combination of brains and bravado yeah and i remember the 20 questions format um gave us a really wonderful final uh between uh our competitors the first two seasons and uh, you can wager uh in that which is kind of fun uh so that'll be cool but i've seen a sneak peek of what the new rounds are going to be i'm super excited about it um, and one thing we wanted to mention, Jeff, uh, which I don't think we mentioned in the last few episodes, I think it's pretty evident um, of this fact, but I, we might as well just mention it again. Bloodsport is only possible because of our patrons, and Bloodsport is comprised of all patrons because it allows us to do fun tournaments like this. Yeah, we just want to say a special thank you to uh, everyone who supports us. Uh, it means so much. It, it really is the um, the way that we can keep the show running. Um, obviously, we have uh, we've started uh, with advertising uh, this last year or so, uh, which has helped as well. But nothing um, pales in comparison to the help and support we get from our patrons. So, if you uh, are like to consider supporting us, you can do so patreoncom slash podcast, where you can get uh, early access to episodes, bonus episodes, and uh, ad free content. Um, just a few of the things on offer over there. So, if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. Uh, we would be very grateful. 
Well, thank you, Jeff, for mentioning our patrons. We never uh, can go uh, a day without mentioning our patrons and all of our, um, you know, thanks to you, and, and we just appreciate it. So thank you to all our patrons for making this possible. Uh, one thing we want to announce is that Bloodsport will return November 24th. That is a Friday, and it also happens to be someone's birthday. Is that right, Ryan? It's my birthday. Mm. It's Ryan's birthday. So happy early birthday to Ryan, but we will return on Friday, November 24th with episode one of Bloodsport. This is going to be the final tournament, just like the past two seasons, where we're going to start with eight competitors, and we're going to whittle down until we have a winner who is going to represent all of Triviality and all of Bloodsport, and we'll be joining Dustin Resch and Amy Paul in the Hall of Champions. So... Thank you very much to all of you for listening. And uh, we might as well just say thank you to Airwave Media, our network. Um, They've uh, also made this possible. So if you would like to check out some of their shows, you can go to airwavemedia.com. And Jeff, what are some shows that people can check out? So I'm I'm currently interested in historical blindness. Uh, I'm interested in Southern Gothic. And as always, The Purpose Show. Soup to nuts, just like our last episode. We gotta, we gotta get that on the network. Uh, I believe that's nuts to soup is our, our nuts new, to soup. That's yeah. right. And you, you love Southern Gothic, is that right? Uh, I love myself a little Southern Gothic, uh, maybe just mostly uh, paintings of that style. And, um, but yeah, no, uh, certainly uh, the purpose show. Um, I want to know what my purpose is here, Neil. I think we all want to know what our purpose is. And Jeff does declare he loves South Southern Gothic. <laughs> Uh, but uh, we, I do declare. We, we look forward to seeing all of you, uh, Jeff, Ken, Matt, myself, and Ryan, on Friday, November 24th for Bloodsport Season 3. Get ready, everyone. It's going to be a crazy one. Welcome to From Beneath the Hollywood Sign. If you love old movies, Hollywood history, or the golden age of filmmaking, you've come to the right place. This is the podcast that talks about amazing stories of Tinseltown from another era and fascinating conversations with writer-producer Steve Kubine and actress-writer Nan McNamara. So, Steve, did Ava Gardner and Howard Hughes have a good relationship? Well, they did until he dislocated her jaw. What? Well, don't worry. She hit him back with an ashtray. From Beneath the Hollywood Sign is the gin joint for you. If you like this podcast, can we recommend another one? It's called Big Picture Science. You can hear it wherever you get your podcasts, and its name tells part of the story. The big picture questions and the most interesting research in science. Seth and I are the hosts. Seth is a scientist. I am Molly, and I'm a science journalist. And we talk to people smarter than us, and we have fun along the way. The show is called Big Picture Science, and as Seth said, you can hear it wherever you get your podcasts.